In the shadow of Geneva, beneath the Earth's surface, lies a marvel of human ingenuity and a potential harbinger of doom. The Large Hadron Collider. It is a beacon of scientific exploration, allowing scientists to peer into the subatomic world and leading to the discovery of the enigmatic God particle years ago. But now, renowned physicist Brian Cox has recently made a chilling announcement that sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. Something alarming has been detected at CERN, something that could have consequences far beyond our understanding. Has our quest for knowledge set us on a collision course with catastrophe? Join us as we delve into the abyss of this scientific enigma. But before we dive into the announcement, it's important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets and the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It presents the pinnacle of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the very conditions of the universe's birth. But could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something far more ominous? CERN, founded in 1954, is one of the world's most prestigious research organizations, with 23 member states and thousands of scientists. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it's just one part of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Imagine a racetrack, but not for cars or horses. This track is for subatomic particles, a race against time and space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The collisions create temperatures a million times hotter than the core of the sun. Thousands of magnets guide the protons on their journey while intricate cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than outer space. These include 1,232 dipole magnets, which bend the beams, and 392 quadrupole magnets, which focus the beams just prior to collision. Another type of magnet is used to squeeze the particles closer together to increase the chances of collisions. The technology required is unparalleled. The LHC's design is a marvel of engineering. It consists of two adjacent parallel beam lines lying hidden 574 feet below the surface, shielded from Earth's radiation. In this subterranean world, the entire system is cooled to a temperature of minus 46.3 degrees Fahrenheit, colder than the vacuum of space itself. The beams inside the LHC are made to collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as colossal cameras, capturing snapshots of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other phenomena crucial to the universe's fundamental building blocks. By studying the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. But with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, a new challenge. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It's a testament to human curiosity and innovation. It embodies our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. But as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the ethical and existential questions that arise. In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human understanding are constantly pushed, a revelation has emerged that sends a shiver down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a voice of authority in the world of particle physics, has recently made an announcement that has left the world both fascinated and fearful. Cox's words resonate with haunting clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist also went on to explain the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's extraordinary potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and the exploration of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It is a tantalizing prospect, but one fraught with danger. 
The creation of the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, was no small feat. It represents the culmination of decades of scientific progress and collaboration on an unprecedented scale. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, was established in 1954 with the goal of fostering scientific cooperation and pushing the boundaries of knowledge. Over the years, it has grown into one of the world's leading centers for particle physics, attracting thousands of researchers from around the globe. The LHC itself is a marvel of engineering and ingenuity. Situated underground near Geneva, Switzerland, the collider consists of a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets, meticulously designed to accelerate protons to nearly the speed of light. These high-energy protons are then directed into collision courses, replicating conditions that existed shortly after the Big Bang. The temperatures generated by these collisions are millions of times hotter than the core of the sun, offering scientists a glimpse into the fundamental forces that govern our universe. One of the primary goals of the LHC is to search for the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle. This elusive particle is theorized to give mass to other fundamental particles, playing a crucial role in our understanding of particle physics and the origins of the universe. Its discovery in 2012 was a monumental achievement for the scientific community, confirming decades of theoretical work and opening up new avenues of research. But the LHC's ambitions extend beyond the hunt for the Higgs boson. Scientists at CERN are also exploring the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two enigmatic substances that together make up over 95% of the universe. Dark matter, in particular, exerts a gravitational pull on visible matter, yet its composition remains a mystery. By studying the collisions produced by the LHC, researchers hope to uncover clues that may shed light on the nature of these elusive substances. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The immense energies generated by the LHC have raised concerns among some scientists and the public alike. One of the most prominent fears is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that not even light can escape. While scientists argue that any black hole created by the LHC would be microscopic and short-lived, the idea of manipulating such powerful forces raises ethical and existential questions. The safety of the LHC has been rigorously studied and debated. Scientists at CERN have conducted extensive risk assessments and simulations to ensure the collider's operations remain safe. They argue that the energies involved are well within what occurs naturally in the universe and that any potential risks are minimal. Nevertheless, the prospect of tinkering with the very fabric of spacetime has ignited debates about the limits of scientific exploration and the potential consequences of our actions. Beyond the scientific and technical challenges, the LHC also faces legal and ethical scrutiny. In 2008, a lawsuit was filed in Hawaii seeking to halt the collider's operations over concerns about safety and the potential for catastrophic outcomes. While the case was ultimately dismissed, it underscored the deep-seated anxieties surrounding experiments of this scale and complexity. Similar legal challenges have arisen in Europe, reflecting a broader debate about the balance between scientific progress and the protection of human and environmental safety. Ethical considerations also loom large in discussions about the LHC. The sheer scale and ambition of the collider raise questions about our role as stewards of knowledge and the implications of our discoveries. Are we playing with fire by probing the fundamental forces of nature? Could our quest for understanding inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? These are not just hypothetical questions but pressing issues that demand careful consideration and informed debate. At the heart of these debates lies a fundamental tension between exploration and caution, between pushing the boundaries of knowledge and safeguarding the well-being of humanity. The history of science is replete with examples of breakthroughs that have revolutionized our understanding of the universe. From the discovery of electricity to the development of quantum mechanics, each of these advancements has brought profound benefits to society, yet each has also raised ethical dilemmas and practical challenges. The story of the LHC is, in many ways, a microcosm of this larger narrative. It represents humanity's insatiable curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge, even in the face of uncertainty and risk. It embodies our capacity for innovation and collaboration, demonstrating what can be achieved when scientists from around the world 
come together to tackle some of the most profound questions in physics. But the LHC is also a reminder of the limits of our understanding and the need for humility in the face of nature's complexity. As we venture into the unknown realms of particle physics and cosmology, we must tread carefully, acknowledging the potential consequences of our actions. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble endeavor, but it must be tempered with responsibility and foresight. In recent years, advances in technology and computing have transformed our ability to simulate and understand complex systems. Scientists at CERN leverage these tools to model the behavior of particles and predict the outcomes of collisions with unprecedented accuracy. These simulations not only inform experimental design but also help mitigate risks and ensure the safety of the LHC's operations. The international nature of CERN ensures that diverse perspectives and expertise are brought to bear on the challenges posed by the LHC. Researchers from different countries and disciplines collaborate closely, sharing data and insights to advance our collective understanding of the universe. This spirit of collaboration is integral to CERN's mission and underscores the importance of global cooperation in addressing the scientific and ethical implications of frontier research. Looking ahead, the LHC continues to push the boundaries of particle physics with plans for future upgrades and experiments. These enhancements will enable science to explore higher energy regimes and probe even deeper into the mysteries of the universe. From unraveling the nature of dark matter to investigating the fundamental forces of nature, the LHC remains at the forefront of scientific discovery. Yet, as we celebrate the achievements of the LHC and the insights it has provided, we must also remain vigilant. The quest for knowledge is a journey without end, and each discovery opens new doors to exploration and understanding. But it also brings with it new challenges and responsibilities. As we stand on the shoulders of giants, we must strive to honor their legacy by continuing to push the boundaries of human knowledge while ensuring that our pursuits are guided by wisdom and compassion. In conclusion, the story of the Large Hadron Collider is a testament to the power of human curiosity and ingenuity. It is a story of collaboration and discovery, of ambition and caution. As we navigate the complexities of particle physics and cosmology, we must embrace the challenges that lie ahead with humility and resolve. The LHC is not just a tool for unraveling the mysteries of the universe. It is a symbol of our collective aspirations and our commitment to understanding the world around us.